Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be focusing on tidying a few things up. What I mean by that is I'm actually going to be going through all of our code and get, getting rid of all the print strings that we no longer need now that we've sort of got through the development stage of my game. So when I say print strings what I mean is in the top left hand corner you can see that I get these little blue pieces of text telling me I've done something, something's changed. Um, it's pretty much just like a development things so we can see and make sure things are happening so you can see the main ones being like added health and then when we pick up coins um, and all of that good stuff you can see it's just adding that little thing up in the top left what I want to do is pretty much just get rid of that so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open up a notepad document and inside of this notepad document I'm gonna be writing down all of the print strings that I see in the top left hand corner and then based on what it is I'm gonna try and figure out what blueprint it's in and start removing all of the print strings things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my Unreal Engine 4 again. Don't know why it's closed there. I'm going to press play and I'm just going to quickly slowly go through it and see which ones I get. So the first one, when I actually pick up a little bit of the fuel, I can see that. So I'm going to write down fuel pickup and that's going to be in the pickup blueprint. It's not going to be in the in the player blueprint as we don't really handle any as we handle the variable in the player but the actual function is all inside of the pickup itself. So going back in let's move on and see what else we got. We've also got one for the coin pickup as well so what I'm going to do is also put one in there so coin pickup and that's going to be in the in the pickup blueprint for that as well and going through We've done the coin already. Next one, when we go through the fire, you can see we've got added health. That's just telling us that it's regenerated. So what I'm going to do is um, adding health. And because this is health related, it's all going to be working with the variable inside of the player. So it because the variables in the player blueprint, it's all going to be in there. So I'm going to go and add in this time player blueprint. And moving on, let's see what else we've got. So we've got that already. We've also got the health pickup. So what I'm going to do is type that in as well, health pickup, and that is in the player blueprint. So, whoops. So I just died there accidentally. Let's go back in and moving on. Let's see, what about our flashlight? You can see our flashlight also gives you the little variable in the top left as well. So I'm also going to put that in there. So moving on, so flashlight, and that's all in the player blueprint because that's where the, the light is added, all the maths is done and all that good stuff. Moving on, let's have a look. So we've got in and out of the radius of the explosion thing. So I'm also going to put that in there. That's the exploding rock. So let's put that in there, exploding rock. And that is going to be in the rock blueprint. That's where everything for that is all handled. And let's see. So we've also got our gravity boost in there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of my abilities. So gravity boost, once again, that's in the player blueprint. And then if we press one, that's speed boost, it says fast. So we've also got that speed boost also in the player blueprint. And the last one, if I can get some fuel, because I haven't got any at the moment. So let's see if I can go up and jump up and get some fuel. And so last one is number three, which is just slow motion. You can see we've also got the little pop-up message for that as well. So I'm going to put that down. And that's also in the player blueprint. Um, so that's pretty much everything because the inputs are all there. That's why we're doing it. But anyway, the point that I wanted to make is that we need to sit through and go through all of our little actions and functions inside of our game and figure out where all of these print strings are so that we can get rid of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go step by step through this lovely little list that I've just made now, just pretty much getting rid of all of those print strings. It's really easy. Open up the blueprints, find the print strings, delete them, and then just connect up everything as it should. So. Let's go ahead and find our fuel pickup first. I've got a big folder, um, so it may be a little bit harder, harder for you guys to find than it should be, but I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger to make it nice and easy. So, 
fuel pickup is over here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's really, it's a really simple blueprint. We should be able to find it nice and quickly. Give it a couple of seconds to load up and we will get straight into it. Okay, so it's just loaded up and we can find that print string. Believe it or not, it just popped up straight in front of me. It's right at the end. The fuel pickup is really simple. So all I'm going to do is quickly delete that and delete this little float to a string as well. We don't need this. And once I've done that, I'm simply just going to compile this and then I'm just going to close the window. I'm not going to worry about testing this for now. I'm going to move on to the next item. So the next item we have done the fuel pickup is the coin pickup. Once again, we're just simply opening up the coin blueprint, finding the print string, which is just here. And then we're going to delete this, get rid of the conversion over here, and then just hook up destroy actor over here, um, just like it would have been if we didn't have a print string. Once again, all we're doing is compiling and then closing that. Next one is adding health. So that's part of our regeneration system. So this is going to be inside of the player blueprint. So what we're going to do is just quickly find our side scroller character let it open up and then once it's in here we need to find where we're doing all of that stuff so the event tick is where we're going to be doing the regeneration for the health so just find that event tick delay all the health stuff and we've got this little print string at the end go ahead and delete that compile it and that is done so the next thing is adding health player blueprint we've done that next thing is health pickup and that's not going to be in the player blueprint i'm not too sure why i said it was but it's going to be in the pickup blueprint for the health item so what i'm going to do is i'm going to close my side scroller character and then i'm going to move on to you know finding the print string in there and then deleting it it's going to give us a couple of seconds to auto save and we will get straight into it Okay, so the auto savings all done. Let's close this. And now what we're going to do is find our health pickup. We have got loads of little items in here. It is in health drop. I've kind of renamed it oddly, but this is our health pickup. It's adding health rather than taking it away like it was originally. There's a little print string here at the end. Just go ahead and delete this and that and then compile it and close. And that's all good. So next item on the list then is going to be our flashlight. So what I'm going to do is simply just open up my side scroller character as all of the flashlight stuff is inside of here and my flashlight over here input action flashlight is at the top and we've got the one print string in here and that is over here and this is just pretty much printing the value um, for our battery. So I'm just going to quickly delete this and this and just hook it up just like it was in between. We don't need the print string anymore. Um, what I might do at some point is actually add a bar for the flashlight, but as of right now, I don't think we're really gonna need it. And I'm gonna compile that and that is it. So we've done the flashlight. The next one is the exploding rock. This one was in its own separate blueprint. If you remember where that was, it's just exploding rock. And if we go into this, what we need to do is just pretty much get the in and out, which is down here. This is pretty much telling the player if they are in or out of the radius. We've got the engine calculating all of that with the boolean anyway. It doesn't necessarily need to be displayed on the player's screen. It needs to be a bit more of a surprise. So what I'm going to do is just delete the in and the out print string. We don't need to worry about anything there. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go ahead and compile that and that is done. And then next one on the list is going to be our free abilities and that is pretty much everything. So gravity boost, speed boost and slow motion. These are all inside of the player blueprint. So once again, we're just opening up this player blueprint. And then if we scroll all the way down to our abilities, which are over here. So we've got slow motion, gravity boost, and we've also got speed boost. We now need to go and find these print strings. There's quite a couple of them. So the first one that I'm going to start off with is my speed boost right at the top. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start with my gravity boost. So I'm going to go to my gravity boost, and for this one, it's right towards the end. So we've pretty much taught telling the player when it started and when it ends, but we don't need to do that anymore as we've actually got the little flashing UI pop-up on there now. So what I'm going to do is delete this and hook things up, and then same thing over at the end, delete it, and there we go. So next one that I'm going to do is my speed boost, which is all the way at the top. So cooldown active, let's just go ahead and delete that. Actually, I'm going to leave this one there. The cool, you do not have enough fuel and cooldown active, but it's the fast one that I'm going to get rid of telling the player that it's now active because we don't need it. And then there should be one more right at the end of our blueprint telling the player it's gone back to the slow normal speed. That's all good. And then last but not least, I'm also going to go down to slow motion. And this one is pretty much saying slow motion on. 
pass the link between those and then slow motion off. Let's turn that off as well. And that is pretty much everything. So what I'm going to do now is just compile it press play and hopefully now if we go in and play we shouldn't get too many more of these messages so I pick up the fuel nothing's happening that's all good adding there's one for the key but we'll leave that on there for now but the rest of the stuff there's no silly pop-up messages anymore we don't need any of that and that's looking good so if you do guys do have any more of these print strings what I want you guys to do go through your project and delete the ones you don't need as we don't really need them now we finish the functionality for everything in our project once again guys thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out